Looking at today is another SunnyTech Sterling engine. Now this is a really miniature one. Just to put it in context, here it is next to my hand, or next to a coffee cup. It's pretty small. It's really a great little engine. I mean, this little thing is going to generate. Uh, it's 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 going to run. It's going to run. Now I'm going to just give you a couple of highlights. Obviously, we've got a flywheel over here. But what makes the Sterling engine what it is? It's an external combustion engine, which means that we will be able to place and heat source, in this case a little alcohol lamp, underneath the cylinder and as you could see there is a piston inside the cylinder which will go racing in and out of there and there is on the bottom a lower cylinder so it's a elbow with a lower cylinder there to let the hot air out bringing cold air back in on each cycle so for each cycle it's going to do that and of course the flywheel here is what is going to transfer that heat in and out of there. So let's take a look at the other highlights of this. What's kind of cool is this has a little magnetic uh, disc at the bottom so that when you place it here it'll hold on top of the, the, the tray even when it's inclined. There's little rubber feet on there which you will see in a moment is kind of necessary because this thing will move like a, a banshee. We're running it again off of 91% Isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. Um, you can really pretty much run it on any heat source. I like to use isopropyl alcohol because it's it's really easy to get. I picked that one up in Target, and it is quite um, quite easy to use. We've got the alcohol in the uh, lower candle, uh, the lower lamp over here. We're heating up the air inside of this cylinder there right now, as you can see. And what that means is that within a couple of seconds, the engine's going to be warm enough to run on its own. And there it goes, the SunnyTech Sterling engine. Now, this is a beautiful way of de at demonstrating to uh, anyone who's into science the way an engine really works. I mean, it's transferring heat here. As, as I say, it's an internal, an external combustion engine. And that heat, I'm going to blow it out. That heat is dynamically filling and emptying out the bottom and being brought in with cool air. The hot air, the cold air being transferred through the flywheel. You can see the flywheel moving over here and the entire thing is beautifully done. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, if you find this video, uh, this review to be helpful, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.